good morning and welcome back to the channel so uh, in today's video we're going to be working on my journal so a lot of people have asked me are you gonna sell the unicorn journal I am NOT I have finally made the decision I am NOT going to sell this journal but I might make another one in the near future obviously it's not gonna be exactly the same because well it's you know it's handcrafted so everything's kind of different so I figured we could work in this I worked on this a little bit in one of my live videos recently so we're just gonna work on it a little bit more so if you are not familiar this is my um, I call it my unicorn journal but it's really more my fantasy journal there's as you can see dragons there's dragons and fairies and unicorns and owls like the first page has an owl on it I love that image by the way that is one of my favorite uh, the second page is this same image it's rice paper um, so I only have one left but I wanted to see if I could um, work on some of these blank pages here so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this page here it's one that is upside down and I'm going to look at what we got going on over here. So I think I want to put this here with my owl kind of poking out on this side. I think. Or I could do it this way. I think I want to do it that way. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this down. And this is rice paper for anyone who doesn't know. This is not napkins. It's not tissue paper. It is rice paper. Now there are some of these sheets that I have gotten from this particular seller that they're not rice paper. They're vellum. And I can tell the difference and so I will tell you guys you know if I happen to use any of those I'm pretty sure all of the ones that I pulled out for today are all rice paper So I'm just going to put this here and I think I'm just going to go on the sides and I, when I'm like that, I mean like the little block thingy. I love that thing by the way. So I'm going to use me some uh -huh, uh -huh sticks. I love this glue for the record. Absolutely love this glue. Alright. So I'm just going to put a little tiny bit down because I just want to get the paper down first. Now I'm going to just start adding, adding my glue a little bit at a time. Okay. And you could definitely seal these pages. Beating up my little water bowl over there. But I do very much enjoy this particular journal, so I could definitely see another one being in my future. 
because it was a lot of fun to make and I just I don't know I've had so much feedback on it and I really honestly did not expect it to be quite as popular as it was Okay. All right, so let's put that there. Kind of let that sit for a minute, let it dry, because I don't want to damage the paper before it's dry. Well, I don't really want to damage the paper even after it's dry, but it'll be less likelihood once it dries. So we're going to let that be. So let's look at the other side which is this side so i don't want to use the same one but what i can do is this one here really pretty but it's really dark so i think i want to use a lighter um i have some lighter ones like that one's pretty nice i just do that it's still pretty dark. Let's see what else do I got? I do have this one. It's a lot lighter. I do like that one. Ow! My envelope stabbed me. My little envelope stabbed me in my palm of my hand. This one's pretty light and it really matches the colors of this particular journal too. All right, we could do that. We could definitely do that. All right, let's cut this part here. I think I'm going to leave the border on the side because I could definitely play with some paper, lace, you know, whatever's, whatever's, oops. Yeah. All right. So. I've had a lot of people ask me what I do with napkins. This is something you could do with napkins, tissue paper, rice paper, vellum paper, any of that. And I'm doing a little bit at a time so the glue doesn't dry up on me because I don't really want air pockets and you'll get air pockets if your glue dries up before you get it down it's one of the ways you can get air pockets And I really wanted to do something on these calendar pieces because I, obviously I wanted to use the image because the images are really pretty, but it is a calendar. So when you use the image, the other side is upside down. So I figured at least on a couple of them, we could cover them up.
Okay, so let's go back to this page here. Take our block and So it's not quite as easy as um, napkin because it is rice paper. It is a lot thicker than your traditional tissue paper. But I'm actually going to sand the edges a little bit because I did stitch the side of this and I did it on accident up here but I actually really like the effect so I'm just continuing on I am sanding over the stitches I don't know if you guys can see that so I sanded over top of the stitches and now I'm going to go up here and do the same thing You can do the sides if you want here. Add a little bit of texture over here. And right now, the, really the only thing you're doing is you're creating a little bit of dimension with the elements that you're putting into the page. So sure, it's, you know, a rice paper, but I put it on top of stitch paper I then sanded it down so it gave a little bit of dimension here and I also didn't cut it so you can see the little fuzzies coming off the page and then just took my sand block over to the side here did the same thing all right You see how it's like fuzzy it's not a straight edge I actually really like that okay but you see how it just it matches so well and no I didn't do that on purpose this was I want to say this was some of the first rice papers that I bought I'm not sure but you can still see the numbers are upside down, but you can also write on this. So this is a lot easier to write on than this glossy um, calendar pages. So let's go and find something else to do. I think I want to put something on top of this because this is a very, very fragile paper. And so I kind of want to help keep it a little more stable. I didn't realize how fragile it was when I initially was using it. I found out how fragile it was in the sewing of the signatures. I actually had to go in and where are you? Oh, I think I took that. I took it out of this one completely. Oh, no, I didn't. So I had to go in and I had to like fix it right here. And then on these, um, I think that's the same one. Um, I just added it before I even stitched it in. It's just a piece of ribbon. Ooh, I'm shiny. <laughs> it's funny. Okay. So, let's see, how big are you? And this is 
um, these are some doilies that I stained using Miss um, Patricia Veramontes. I used her stains. Um, I think they're called Potty Pocket. I do have one. Actually, I only have the one. But I do have it handy. And I will show you. I thought I had it handy. I do. It's hiding. Okay. I have to fix my lights. I've changed my whole setup so many times that ugh, my lights are all out of whack right now. Oh, also too, I have updated my Facebook group and um, I have put a post in there for you guys to, upside down, for you guys to post like your sales and um, your shops, your coupons and uh, your live sales, anything like that. I put a post in the Facebook group for you guys to get all of that and for you to play with all of that. Um, because that's why I originally started the Facebook group to begin with was to um, kind of promote everyone and kind of keep like track of where everyone's sales were um, in the sense of, okay, there's this one on Monday, this one on Tuesday, that so on and so forth. And I think I lost track of that, and so I want to get back to that point. Um, so I have made a post. I was waiting for the excess to dry a little bit. Anyway, I've made a post, and um, this is really thick. Yeah, you guys can go in and... It smells like crowns. <laughs> it smells like crowns. Um, I've gotten lace before that smells like crowns. It's funny. I don't know what it is that makes it smell like that, but it's actually quite humorous. I don't think I want to put anything right there. Ooh, pretty. I have to put something behind it, though. Okay, let's do this one. And I think I have an idea of what can go back there. But anyway, have you guys ever gotten, um, have you ever gotten lace that smells like crayons? It's really bizarre. Uh, it's not, it's not my first time smelling lace like that. Um, but yeah, it's really, really weird. First time I smelled it, I was like, what in the world? Hmm. It was pretty weird. All right. I think I'm going to take this one off because it's cut right down the middle here. So I'm just going to trim it off. We'll put it in our snippet pile stuff and save it for later. Because stuff like this, like that, 
that would make like a really great little snippet or cluster or something like that, you know? And I actually think I'm going to take this one down too. Because it's a little wide. So I'll take those. There we go. All right. So what did I have planned for that? Oh, yeah. Okay. So this is actually Christmas paper here. But I am going to use it. I'm going to use the green side. I cut two of those, I think. Hold that. And this is some of the scraps that are left over from the country Christmas where I've been doing all of those Christmas projects and cards and such like that. Um, let's see. Looks like it's right at five and a half. Turn that one down a little bit. Ow. All right, hold that. Okay. Believe in the magic. That's actually kind of cute. So is that. It is way too big. Ma, ma, you. I like the believe in magic. I think I'm gonna keep that up actually. But is my thing going to pop off of that? Oh yeah. Yep, yep, I like that. Okay, so let's close this up. Hold that. And that's the side I was going to use. I feel like that would pop off really nice. But I'm going to use that side instead because I like the Believe in Magic. Because magic can be many, many things to anyone. Magic is a very special thing. It can be a miracle. It could be faith. It could be a kind word. It could be anything. Magic is a beautiful, beautiful thing.
Alright. And right now, I'm just having fun decorating this thing. This thing is awesome. And you can normally tell on these particular um, laces, uh, the front and the back. Uh, these are... I can't tell you if they're machine or hand stitched because I'm sure if I say one, somebody will say it's the other. So I don't know about that. But what you can tell is that the stitching is very, very obvious on one side. And it almost looks embroidered on the other. But yeah, I've gotten several pieces like this before. I love this color. That's the reason that I got this one. I haven't seen this particular color. It's like a sage green almost. And I love greens and blues. And why did I do that? Anyway, I love greens and blues and such like that. But like I said, I haven't seen this particular color. So that's why I got this one. Because I like getting the colors I don't have. All right, now, all right, cooperate you, okay. Okay, not bad, not bad, all right. Now I'm going to have to pick this up because I actually, I accidentally glued too far down. But it is Fabri-Tac, so just wipe it off before it dries and it will be fine. And there we go. Alright, so I'm going to grab... I thought I had some parchment paper out. Um, maybe some's in my glue book. Let's see. Some's in my glue book. Try to have parchment paper in my glue book. Because, well, it's a glue book. Alright, so now we're going to do this side. And... Good night, baby. I love you. I love you. And I don't think I'm going to use that side. I think I'm going to go with the green. So let's do the green. Hmm. That's pretty. I think I'm going to save this for another page, and I think I'm going to put this here. Yep. All right, so I don't know if this is going to tear. It should. Okay. And... Let's go with right there. It's very, very different than napkins. It does not behave the same way as napkins. It does behave similarly to how napkins behave. I feel like it's a weird word saying behave, but that is, it is the right terminology. Reacts, acts, no, it's just like that. All right, so, oh, we're at 30 minutes. It takes a long time to glue stuff. All right, so this is just kind of another 
project that we've got, you know, in between all of the other series is that we've got going on because I seem to have a couple of those happening. But I figured this would be a nice break. Um, I know some people have expressed the Christmas overload, if you will. So I figured it'd be a nice break and you know get something a little bit different but still quite enjoyable to get to watch and play with and there we go all right and then you could put some here actually let's do that real quick Okay. And let's go from the top, actually, because I'm going to take as very little off of this bottom as I can, because I want to keep that blue part. There we go. Perfect. All right, come back here. All right, and there we go. And you could put one on the other side as well. I think I'm just going to leave it blank for now. Uh, we are sitting at over 30 minutes, so. I'm just going to pocket this guy inside my little parchment paper here and uh, yeah, just kind of let it be for a little bit and there we go. So yeah, like I said, I figured it'd be something different. Um, I know a lot of people have expressed the kind of Christmas overload. <laughs> So, I figured it'd be a nice change of pace to play with the fantasy journal that everybody wants me to sell. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun playing in this book. Um, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye guys.